Chairman Wafula Cherbukati and two remaining commissioners of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission want to be paid for the balance of their terms if they are to leave office. One of the commissioners told the Star in Confidence yesterday that although four of their colleagues had resigned, they will only leave office through a negotiated package. We have done nothing wrong and we are determined to go on with work, but if anyone wants us out, then we will ask to be paid for the remaining part of our terms. On Monday, Vice Chair Consul Adamena led fellow Commissioners Margaret Wanjula and Paul Kurga to throw in the towel as divisions at the electoral body boiled over. The other half, comprising Chairman Cherbukati and Commissioners Abdikulai and Boyamalu, were left holding on. The commissioners have served for 14 months since their appointment in January 2017, eight months to the last elections. They have 58 months, four years and eight months, left of their fixed six-year term to go. If the government bows to their demands, it will cost the taxpayer over SH220 million to send a three home. The chairman earns SH1.4 million per month in salary and other allowances. He will take home SH81.2 million, exclusive of gratuity and other benefits. With the monthly salary of SH1.2 million, Commissioners Malu and Gulai I will each pocket SH69.6 million besides other terminal emoluments. The three who quit on Monday, as well as Rosiel Nikum in October, would not be compensated since the resignation was with immediate effect. They would only be entitled to their gratuity. But it will be a tall order for Cherbukati to emulate his predecessor to sack Hassan's team, which negotiated its way out under siege from the opposition in 2016, with a walk-home package of SH1.8 billion in compensation. Unlike the Hassan team which, though divided internally stood together till the end, the Chebukati one gave itself away when its feuds broke into open. The exit of the three on Monday, which inside sources say had the nod of political forces, have spelt doom for the Chebukati three. Yesterday, National Assembly Majority Leader Aidan Duell wrote to the Legal Affairs Committee to commence the process of removing Chebukati and his team. Parliament will take a lead in resolving this crisis and we will look for the best way out including a negotiated exit for the remaining three, Duell said. The three suffered a blow yesterday after police officers attached to them were withdrawn. Communications manager Andrew Limo said in a statement late Tuesday evening that the commission had written to Inspector General of Police Joseph Boyd but had received no explanation.